I always knew that I wanted to stay in Miami because I want to be able to give back to my community and, and practice medicine in Miami. They really emphasize you know, giving back and that's something that's really important to me and that's something I want to dedicate a lot of my life to once I become an MD. So that's why um, you know, I thought FIU was the perfect fit for me, so why not guarantee a spot for myself two years before everyone else does. I heard about this program actually my sophomore year, so the year that I applied. The other assurance program, what it really means, like the early assurance part, it's a guaranteed spot into medical school pending your MCAT score and other criteria that they have. It was worth you know, a try. I didn't know if I was gonna get in, but I knew I wanted to go here, so why not apply and you know, have that secured spot pending MCAT score. It was kind of like the regular application process to enter into medical school, a little less complicated. Before, the Honors College was great. Lily was great. She, whatever questions you had, she would help you with. If she didn't know, she would ask the medical school. As someone who didn't have anyone else that had applied to medical school, I didn't know anyone that had applied, so it was kind of difficult for me. So I was able to go to the Honors College, ask them whatever questions I had, and she always got back to me and really cared about the process and helping me get through it. And, you know, she played a big role in me being able to, you know, get into the program. The medical school helped too, so Dr. Roller, she is one of the professors for Challenges in Healthcare, the Honors College course. She was my professor at the time that I was in the program, so she always answered any of my questions, whatever I had. Once you get into the program, you start this other program, which is the mentoring program that they have. So you get assigned with one of the medical students at FIU, and you get to ask them questions, whatever questions you might have. And at the time, I hadn't taken the MCAT, so I could ask questions about the MCAT, how they prepped for it, what, any tips they had. So that really did help me and it kind of calmed me down because the MCAT kind of makes everyone nervous. For me, I was surrounded by um, people in the program that really had, you know, had the same goals as me and wanted to enter into medical school and be accepted into medical school. It's really awesome to have people like that around you. You know, I, I've watched myself grow from being a sophomore to now and it, I kind of surprise myself sometimes because I'm like, whoa. Like, I'm actually going to start medical school next year, like that's weird. It's exciting, nerve-wracking, there's a lot of emotions, but I really do think that this program was, you know, the right choice for me and hopefully for a lot of other people, but, you know, whatever you want to do, um, you really have to push towards and that's kind of what my motto has always been, like if you work hard for what you want to achieve, then you'll achieve that.